going to streaming, I remember an interview like some months before you became the chairman the first time, 2019, where you were saying uh, tennis is born for digital, streaming is the right solution because obviously tennis has a lot of content almost every day, kind of, right? If you put everything together. And so have you changed your mind or you still think streaming? Uh, no, no. <laughs> uh, it, it's to me 100% part of the opportunity that we have. You know, obviously in the linear, in the linear world, tennis, you know, has a, the massive issue that we have is that we don't know how long a game is. You don't know who's playing until the day before. So from a broadcast perspective, if you're linear and you need to plan, it's difficult. I mean, I remember many matches that had to move channel because the news was coming at 8 o'clock back in the 90s, right? So we have a lot of content. We have a lot of content all around the world in different time zones. We have a very strong women product. So, um, you know, the WTA and, and the ten women's tennis is probably the strongest women's sport. So we have this also variety in the fans because our fan, our audience is also 50-50 men and women, which I think is a massive value compared to other sports, which are mostly, you know, uh, skewed towards male. And we're global. So we're all around the world. So lots of content, many hours, all time zone, men and women. I think we're in a very, very good place for the evolution or call it a revolution or how content will be distributed in the next 10 to 15 years, mostly via digital platform. And I, I think, uh, by the way, we didn't plan this, but it's Wimbledon week. And I just saw news that Discovery Plus is saying they are showing all matches, which at least for me is like, yeah, Exactly. So I, I started having, working in streaming in 2008 with NBC Olympics in New York. And we immediately saw, okay, forget channels, forget linear. The challenge is then you need to create the discovery of content. So there are other challenges in streaming, but, but clearly that's the, you should be able to serve fans in a way that they can watch whatever they, they need on whatever platform. This is, I mean, kind of old news now. But I think it still takes times because sometimes the you know the money is somewhere else, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But if, no, if you is, look at, sorry, go on there. No, no, go, go ahead. I, I was just saying I agree with you. There are challenges. The transition won't be simple, won't be easy, but it creates massive opportunity because the the fans are they're all different. You you can take tennis fans like any other sport or any other industry. You probably have a scale of ten different type of fans. And now with fan people who watch. Only the big, big matches, the final in the Grand Slam. Some other people, they really watch small tournaments. Some other, they follow their local heroes. And, and the ability of digital is that it can give you a very, very personalized experience, right? You could be watching somebody on court 15 at 10 a.m. if you want to, but you can still obviously watch the core matches or have, you know, just focus on the summary of the highlights, pre-match, post-match. Also, I think we're going in a direction where the offline, the, the non-live content becomes a lot more important and valuable to help, you know, provide more context to the fan and storytelling, which is what we, we have done with the Netflix series now. You know, F1 was the first one doing that, golf and tennis following, but fans want to see more than just the live competition. They also... It's about storytelling, ultimately, right? Entertainment. So if you can tell a beautiful story around it and, and give, get them closer to our athletes, to our personality, they're obviously going to enjoy more the live match. So it's, it's definitely more challenging because it's more complex, but all in all, we, all of us, could be capable of providing a much you know, entertaining and fulfilling experience to each fan because they're all different and they likely require a very personalized one.